BSF, Black Soldier Fly Larvae, straight from organic waste. We've got high protein source for the chickens. Uh, the best way to feed chickens if you want to do it on budget, straight. Uh, I've, uh, I've never been this close to chickens or chickens feeding. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to this edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we are in Shella, Kenya, where we are on a permaculture farm where the soil is difficult to grow. A slog of a hike. <laughs> I'm nuclear free. Tree branch or part of a log. Jarka. Sweat. If given the chance, Mother Nature can rejuvenate itself. In the span of just one year, from a garbage dump to a productive farm. And why is this sand soil so good? It is from the earth, yeah, underground. So it is better, it has the good minerals to get the plant to be strong and health. This farm is named Earth Love Shamba, and the manager, Amha, will describe the difficulties towards starting a project where farming is not indigenous. This is the trash that's left over after hundreds of bags of excavation. We left this pit to show signs and we quadranted it off. This is what the depth of trash was like in some places. It's very sad and very bad. What is immediately noticeable at Shamba is that uh, it's built on layers or terraces and because of that the holes and the pits have created uh, an opportunity to see what actually is below ground. Here we have a sediment layer that's built up after burning took place on this land, certain places. As you can see, different color, a bottle left from the trash. Uh, unknown things that are inside this ash basically a bad thing to start off with growing so we remove this layer and then we bring in better soil from outside or we fix our own hybrid soil on site doing ecosystem restoration at its finest Am I questioned if I wanted to film these donkeys and I said of course I do because this is what Lamu Island in Kenya is famous for. This is our transporter. We are trying to sort out some Akuti waste so that we can use it as a mulch. Oh, a mulch yeah. yeah, on the mulch at a chamber so that we can resist the moisture so that the land can't dry. When it rains, it releases some moisture, some water, so that it cannot be dry quickly. Yeah. That Earth Love Shamba is a permaculture farm that the intent is once the plants and the seeds are in the ground, they are uh, easier to control and their growth is more continuous. In permaculture, you want to plant a lot more perennials. They hang around a lot longer. It makes the job a lot easier. If you plant annuals, it makes the job a lot harder. So I don't know who wants to do that, but around here, we just plant trees and make the job a lot easier. So we tried it. The village of Shela on Lamu Island is in the northeast corner of Kenya and is adjacent to the Indian Ocean. If culturally villagers have been tied to the sea, and economically and historically because of soil conditions there has been little farming, Earth Love Shamba wants to change this mindset towards food cultivation. Since being an island means we're subjected to increasing prices of in importing and the harsh conditions that the world at large we face, so we're more reliable on ourselves when we do perform food sovereignty actions and take action. At Earth Love Shamba, there are over 100 species of plants and vegetables. Uh, my personal favorite uh, is the uh, prickly pear cactus, and uh, they're hoping to grow dozens of these such that they can be cultivated at any one time and eaten en masse. And uh, Emma will give another explanation and demonstration as to what other vegetables are here at the farm. Food security. 
is a tricky one but it's easy when you overstand nature here we have a polyculture it's called we have moringa we have cassava we have banana we have spinaches we have mulberries we have papaya we have everything and it's all in one place which means we don't sacrifice or compromise It's grown, it's picked, now it's time to cook and eat. All right, so uh, Emma, thank you very much for your participation here at uh, Earth Love Shamba. Naturally, we, uh, we need to sample some of the uh, products, all of which was grown, well, all, all the vegetables were grown here on the farm. Hmm. Oh. Oh my, that is, that is succulent. <laughs> so, from Earth Love Shamba in the village of Shella on Lamu Island, Kenya, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, local people, natural sounds, not a lot of money. After the extra, we're going to take a look at Lamu and what makes that village so special. Shout outs to Maji Media. Lamu is renowned for its donkeys and dows. You want sweet or black? Oh, I'll take it black, thank you. Okay, okay. With the discovery of fresh water, Lamu has been uh, permanently inhabited since the 17th century. <laughs> Because of the traditional architecture and the way of life, Lamu has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage City. In addition to the old buildings, the character of Lamu and its old city are these narrow alleyways. And when coming to Lamu, uh, the trick is, well, just to come and enjoy. Uh, this village is about seven hours north of Mombasa through public transport. Say, don't forget, Bob would love your support. Of course, uh, give the video a like. Also, uh, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. And uh, I'm going to spin the camera and we're going to end this video in the town square of Lamu.